You ever um just late to your own party? <laughs> Were you doing so good? Whoa. Late to my own party. I we hit a million subs. Woo! And I know a lot of people have been waiting for me to address it over here on YouTube. And I did address it on Twitter. And I did address it on Instagram. But I just never addressed it over here. I don't know. I just wanted to do something big for the million sub special. And I did not have that thing ready. Uh, it's not ready at all. I don't even know what I'm gonna do for that yet. But I'm. I, I do want to celebrate it in some way, shape, or form, so um, stay tuned for that. But it just might be a while because I'm at a point where I'm, like, sitting on finished videos, but they don't acknowledge a million subs, and I didn't want to, like, drop a video post million subs that doesn't acknowledge a million subs, and then everyone's wondering where the million sub acknowledgement is at. So here that is. And um, not too long ago, I made a video saying, or a few months ago, I made a video saying I didn't fail. Well, I did fail. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't pull out your. Oh, don't say that here. Right? Oh, you did I did, but that's okay. And I want to drive that sort of point home that it's okay to fail and it's okay to like fail on your path to success. I think it's necessary to fail on your path to whatever you're trying to reach. My goal, if you guys didn't know, was to hit 1 million subs by the end of 2023. We are four months into 2024. Like, I'm happy that I hit a million subs. I am, despite the fact that I did not achieve that goal. And the reason why I wanna drive this point home is because I want that to resonate with you guys, that regardless of what you're going for, even if things don't line up as quickly as you would like them to. As long as you're persistent and you just keep pushing, you're going to get to whatever that thing is that you're striving for. So that's why the title of this video is I Failed. But that's a good thing. Because I feel like too often, especially on like social media platforms, people's lives are kind of glamorized as like this, just like, oh, look at all these wins. You know, we only, we love to share our W's. We love to share our wins. We don't really love to share our losses. And this isn't the first time that I've failed. Like I, I fail all the time. But in the same way that I'll fail in a, in a game, for example, and I'll keep losing and I'll keep losing and I'll keep losing, but I'm stubborn and hard headed and I'm going to keep losing until I learn how to win. And that same thing is applicable to literally everything that I do in life. If I'm, if I'm playing basketball, if I keep losing, I want to keep playing whoever's beating me. If I keep missing a shot, I'm going to keep taking that shot until I start making it consistently. Like working out, that's been like a, a recent thing for me where like I, I'll be on a good streak where I'm like working out every single day, hitting up early in the morning, knocking out my workout, just being really good about it, eating right. But then all of a sudden, I'll, I'll, I'll fail at that. I'll fail on my consistency and I'll fall off and I'll fall off for like a week or a month or whatever it is. And then like I'm just dreading, not dreading coming back, but I'm just like procrastinating on coming back until eventually I keep pushing on that. I'm on day one. I'm on day one, part 10. <laughs> when it comes to working out, I, I, I went this morning. I went this morning. Yes, I know. I know. A round of applause. Yes. And that was another thing. Like I wanted to, I had this whole elaborate plan. I was going to hit a million subs by the end of 2023. I was gonna have a body reveal, you know what I mean? Not not just because I, you know, on Instagram, I was like tracking my uh, progress or whatever, my workout progress. I took a before picture, I haven't revealed that, but uh, you know, it was getting really good and I damn near reverted back to the before picture because I stopped for so long, but now I'm getting back into it. So it's just like, things don't always happen the way that we envision them to. And I think that's, a part of the beauty of life is you may have all of these plans, but life is just going to be what it is. And you have limited control over that. But with the control that you do have, you have to make sure you maximize it. Some things are inevitable. Some things you can't control. And as much as you wish you can, you just can't. And then some things you can. And those are the things that I think that we kick ourselves the hardest about where it's like, oh, I could have done this. Oh, I should have done that. Like, oh, I could have easily just did this when I did that instead. But there's no point in thinking like that because as far as I'm aware, ain't no such thing as a time machine. Not yet. Hello, future people watching this. Went back in time to watch this. Hey, if, if y'all in the future just like find me and bring me back, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what tech y'all have, but um, I'm okaying you guys bringing me back so I can see what's going. 
All right, nevertheless, uh, there's no point in dwelling on things that you did or didn't do because both did and didn't are past tense and you can't do nothing about that. All you can do is live in the present, live in the present moment. You can't live in the future, you can't live in the past, you can only live right here. So the decisions you make right now will either make you in the future proud or you in the future like, damn, what the was I doing? I don't know where I'm going with this video. I just wanted to at least acknowledge the fact that we hit the milestone of a million subs. That is still huge. This isn't meant to be like a depressing video at all. Like I am genuinely happy that I did hit a million subs. Do not get me wrong. And I do still plan on making a 1 million sub special. Uh, this is not that. I just wanted to at least acknowledge it. So when I get back to dropping videos, people aren't just like wondering uh, whether or not I even noticed I hit a million. Yes, of course I noticed I hit a million subs. Haven't gotten the plaque yet. Still waiting on that. Um, I hope they have my current address. I don't even know like how to contact them. Like, YouTube, um, hit me up so we can figure that out. Cause I don't want y'all to send it to the incorrect address. Where do I update? I, I don't know. I, I'll figure all that stuff out. But whenever I get that plaque, I'll probably make a little update video uh, going over that as well. But yeah, to all the upcoming, I don't even want to just say YouTube, it's just people who are striving towards some goal. It, it could literally be anything. Welcome failure. Look at why you failed. Look at what made you stumble. The word fail is deemed as such like a negative term. But if you want to swap that word out with like stumble, <laughs> trip up. It's a necessary road bump because it teaches you how to succeed. In terms of my next goals, man, honestly, like now I'm at a point where, and I'm happy to be back at this point, don't really care about the numbers, really. Like I'll be excited once I hit other, you know, milestones and stuff like that. But in terms of like, oh, I wanna hit this sub count, I wanna hit this sub count. I don't really have a number in mind anymore. Like just whatever it is, it is. Like I'm happy with what I've been able to do. And honestly, the community that I have watching, even if we don't add any new people, like I would obviously as many people who I can make laugh and you know, give them a little uh, distraction from their day-to-day -day monotony. I would love and welcome all of them to the Legion of Bauer, don't get me wrong. But if you were to tell me that the people who are watching me now would be the same people who are watching me in the future and then we don't add anyone else, like I'd be okay with that because honestly, I love what we've built over here. I love the community that we have. I love being able to, again, just uh, in a way I'm spending, I'm spending like time with whoever is watching this. Like you, you're giving me your time and that is easily our most valuable commodity because we can keep making money but we can't make more time unless you just start eating really healthy and like you know what i'm saying working out you, know, you can make some more time you know what I'm <laughs> this video really has no sense of direction i just again wanted to kind of acknowledge it and thank you guys for uh being along with me whether you just found my channel like a few days ago or if you found my channel eight years ago i'm very grateful for every single one of you and uh you've 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 given me a sense of peace in my life that I don't know if I would have working in any other job. Oh, and believe you me, I'm not one of these, like I know there's some YouTubers out there who like have only done YouTube and that's no shot to them, like salute to them. I'm happy for them, but I've experienced cleaning bathrooms in a grocery store. I've pushed carts at a grocery store. I've bagged groceries. I, I basically did literally anything you can possibly do in a grocery store I've done. And then after that, I worked at a bank. I was miserable at the bank. I was counting numbers, you know what I'm saying? I was uh, working as a teller, taking deposits, uh, the cash and checks and stuff like that. And then I got moved over to my own desk. I was opening new bank accounts and stuff like that. And then I hated that. I, I hated that job. I would have rather clean bathrooms than that. It's just because my, my player build did not really fit within the bank archetype. You know what I mean? Like that just wasn't wasn't me. And then I started working at 2K, you know what I mean? I worked at 2K. So basically, I've, I've worked normal jobs. So I don't, I don't want anyone to look at me as like, uh, and you shouldn't look at anyone this way because unless you've been a YouTuber, you can't really uh, judge how stressful and difficult this job is. But yeah, we're not gonna get into all that because I'm not saying one is harder than the other. All I'm saying is I've experienced both and uh, you know, I'm, I don't take for granted the fact that I'm able to do this and there's a lot of people who uh, you know, would love to be able to do what I'm doing. So I'm very grateful and uh, thankful for this.
this kind of turned into a bit of a ramble. Uh, I think I'm just going to shut my mouth and uh, stay tuned for more videos from yours truly. If this video gets, I don't know, if this video gets 10,000 likes fast enough, I'll post a video today. <laughs> Three idiots. <laughs> if you want it. <laughs> Did you hit the like button? <laughs> 10,000 likes. All right. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the actual million sub special. Don't know when it's coming. It might, it might take a while. It probably will take a while. But uh, be patient with me because eventually there will be something. So stay tuned. And also, I should get a new outro, shouldn't I? I don't have that yet. But so enjoy this old one while you can. Goodbye.